Hey everyone, welcome back to J Lake 3 So today we're going to be working on an interesting project, which is basically a classic kitchen knife. If you remember those just metal steel knives with the wooden handle, I just I thought it was an interesting thing to learn how to do CAD with. So what we're going to start off by doing is drawing a line in sketch mode, uh, 200, let's do by 20. Okay, so what we can do instead of drawing is obviously also use the rectangular tool from the center and do it like so. And then what we need to do is separate this and draw a 45 degree angle on the grid. Make sure you follow the grid. That way it lines up. If you see, it goes basically on the edge of those squares all the way down. So we also need to separate the blade from the handle. So what we're going to do is move it across there. And now what we need to do is draw the circles for uh, the pins that go inside. So at this point, just make it like so. On equally on both sides and then what we can do is select all three of those and click the equal constraint and then just change one to five that way they're kind of centered there as we're going along so what we do now is extrude the blade let's extrude that by well we can do 0.5 and then adjust so we have it kind of in the middle so let's um, let's go ahead and select it from the bottom click isolate so we hide the sketch away for a second and make it one millimeter across okay we can turn the isolate off so we have our sketch there and uh, first of all we need to fill it this even though it's not the end but this is kind of the process for the blade right so fill it depending on how much you want i think 50 in this case looks pretty good and then what we can do is chamfer those edges to start and remember we had one so we do negative one because negative makes chamfer and positive makes fill it so we have negative one for the for the chamfer and as you can see, it sharpened the correct parts. And next, we just click two more edges again. And this time, we fill it. And when you f when you chamfer first, you can fill it it pretty far compared to how you usually can. So let's do 25. In this case, I think it's a good number. It's already starting to look like a knife, right? So this is pretty cool. And uh, once we have that complete, we can sort of go ahead and extrude our pins and make sure they're a new body. And we want those to be, let's see, uh, let's make them 2.5 from this side. And then we want to make them 5 from this side. So let's select those bottom faces and then drag them out and then choose 5. So it's equal on both sides. Okay. And uh, you can say it's a bit premature, but I think it's the right time for this. All right. Next, we can go and extrude the handle. I think we should isolate the sketch. And we can do that by selecting those two sketches and going down by let's do 2.5 and then turn isolate off and isolate now the handle and change that to five i mean we could have just mirrored it etc there's so many ways to do it you're not stuck using one way but this is just how i like to do it now for the handle since we have this square frame to work with we're not actually manufacturing this just yet so we can still edit it as we go but let's go ahead and sketch with a spline here starting from not the very front i want to get off of there for about five millimeters and then start my spline so let's make an interesting edge there so one heavy click does kind of uh, adds a, a point so we can do that and then we can adjust them as necessary and basically this is not yet how i want it and I think I want to add one more point here. Or we can just adjust this if we want. Yeah, actually, that works if we do it this way. I think that's a nice shape. So as you can see here, we need to subtract this part. So we just extrude that down. And we need to add a little part here. So if you notice here, we have the blade over there. And typically, that's cut to the shape of the knife. You can see it's sticking out on the side usually. So we just go in and replace the face by selecting that face and choosing this face. And as you see, it kind of extruded all together there as that one piece. So we need to go ahead and undo. And uh, let's see, let's isolate the blade. Well, not isolate. Let's, let's see what we can do here. We need to hide this object. And then we can go in and tools replace face with that. So then the blade goes all the way out there it's held in place properly and then unhide our body 
and we can simply copy this over, click copy, and put it down by three millimeters. Then we tools union this piece to that piece and this piece to this piece, click done, and we have an interesting looking knife. And then we can fill it this edge here. Did I select something wrong there? Not sure. Let's try one more time. Too complicated. That's new. Okay, so what I think what's going on here is we need to subtract from this body, this body, and I think now it should let us, yeah. So as you see, it was connected there at some point. So we can go in and fill it that. And that's a bit too much. Let's go a little sharper at 2.5. And I think that's much better. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to the blade now that we've decided what we want. And I think at this point we can go in and start changing the colors just so we can see what we're working with. Let's go ahead and hide the sketches. Then go into visualization, choose the handle, and let's change that to a wood material. Let's say, um, I believe there was bamboo here, which I liked. There we go. And then for everything else, we can choose steel, which is in the metals and towards the bottom. I don't know why they put it on the bottom. We use it so often, but there it is right there. So the pins and the blade are steel in this case, shiny. I like it. Uh, but as you can see, our knife is turning out quite beautiful. And even though it's simple and it's just like I said, one of those classic ones where you can see the metal right inside. So this is a fun little project to learn CAD with. And we can add one more thing I think is basically the fillet or the chamfer, depending on what you want. You don't have to select all the edges, but typically you might miss one and then it might do something weird. So that depends on your needs. But we can go in now, and even the front, I think, could use it. We can chamfer it like so. I think that looks a little bit off. So let me make it smaller by a bit. So negative one, there we go, that looks better. And then alternatively, you can also select it and choose the chamfer fillet tool from the side here. But as you can see, it selects those edges as well. And we don't want that. So sometimes it's not the best process, but as long as it works. So let's go negative one is the chamfer and then the positive would be the fillet. Just make sure that everything did it correctly. And then to finish it off, what we can do, select both of these and now use the chamfer fillet tool and do a fillet of one. So as you can see, those pins there also got it. But in this case, we can just go in and it's easier to just select those and then click delete than going around and selecting all those edges like we did previously. So it really depends on the use case, but it's cool that we have all these tools at our disposal. So now that we have that complete, this is basically it. Let's go and see in visualization our knife. Okay, let's... Just look at it ah uh, that's amazing this is actually basically ready for manufacturing and it's a beautiful piece hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye here at j lake 3d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects please support our work so that we can keep doing it don't forget to like share and subscribe to see more